Greetings, Stan Halligan from Canta Games with Season 2, York vs. Asquith, complete run-through. And uh, if you recall, I think, by the way, I fixed my lighting issue. I don't really have any terrible shadows. If you recall, we're playing an Emily Bronte variation, which requires a seasonal change of the market. And my goodness, did we get an interesting market. Uh, fenced paddock being in a state tile really interests Asquith. We have some interest by York in prestige tiles, but look what's sitting here at the end. My goodness, that is going to be critical. Because the bottom line is that we know that Essentials is going to be part of the final courtship. First three seasons, we evaluate the revealed theme on its own merits. The fourth season, we look at all four together. And York is just in a dominant position over Asquith because Asquith played the private study. Well, this changes everything. Whoever gets that is going to be guaranteed to get an eight victory point pop in the final courtship. Can't stress how critical that is. So there's going to be a cage match to get their hands on that. That'll be interesting. But let me point out the importance of a tile like this. Everyone needs to, when they play this game, prepare for this national holiday. I would, in my estimation as the developer, I would say that I have seen more games of a couple hundred games played turn on the national holiday where you are able to play tiles, invite guests, all independent of reputation. It, it is, it's so important. You want to have something like a great hall in your organizer for that national holiday. So in my mind, as either one of these players, uh, I'm fixated right here. This is where the play is now going to unfold. The first player marker is going to move over to Asquith. We're going to come over here for our Charles Dickens variable courtship. The second courtship, oh, it's going to be the equivalent of an open courtship, which means an immediate reveal. The information is coming fast and furious. So we take a look. Whoa, that's, man, that's significant. That suddenly really makes, given how invested that Asquith is in the states, that really makes Asquith excited that they'll be able to recover from the deficit associated with the essentials. So let's get started with Asquith's turn. We're going to rotate service. And they're thinking about servants. Now, one of the things to keep in mind is that we're starting to deplete our guests. These are my remaining guests. Before I pass, I definitely want to play Count Hoyos is a great card. So I'm thinking one play and a pass is probably where I'm going. So I want to see where I can use two gentlemen. Uh, I'm reputation level one. And I think it's time to start playing our estate tiles, just plain and simple. So we're going to have afternoon tea in the main gazebo. We are going to invite these two. We have service to be provided. Nice. So I have a choice between reputation and money with the young man, the heir. I'm going to get a reputation for the barn, so when I take the reputation for the barn, that gets me to the second level, which I very much want to get to. Why? Because then I can come right back and make a flower room play, which is prestige rating two. So do I want another reputation or do I want a hundred from the young man? I have no money right now. That fence paddock... I'm going to take money. I, I don't like being totally devoid of money. Now I get to the invites. Check this out. I get a prestige invite from the main gazebo, a prestige invite from Count Hoyos, along with a casual invite. So we'll start with the casual. My lord, the gentleman who are either uh, disreputable or poor, <laughs> he's not horrible. He's got reputation. You know, look, he doesn't confer any negative victory points. He's just impoverished. 
put him in there. But now I'm going to take my two. Okay, so let's see what we have. Very excited about this because these are guests at a four prestige rating. We'll be able to play some here in probably the beginning of season three because we'll be at reputation level four. Outstanding. Good turn. Break it down and there'll be no purchase in the market. It's now York's turn. York does want to act as it relates to estate tiles, but you notice this is a, a first level tile with negative front side victory points. That's not too encouraging, although he would maybe expect to play that. I think that he realizes he lacks a complete path for his reputation. You, you can't be devoid of second and third level improvements, very much like there's a path here for Asquith. And he sees this croquet field, and that's a source of money as well. Let's rotate our service, see what our service profile is. I think that what uh, York is going to do is York's going to come here and host Charles Fairchild in the air going for a real prestige play. It's time to bump that up. We're going to go ahead and do a footman there and then since we don't have either a footman or a valet available we do have our under butler who can perform a male service role. So we're done with that event. We're going to take four reputation. One, two, three, four. Flip over to two. We uh, are going to be able to look at two, keep one on the invite. Both great guests. This guy's a little bit better. And we break down. Don't flip that. Keep that rose up. Goes into the discard pile. Now this is where this 200 will allow me to get my second level path built up as I pick up the croquet field. I gotta play that so I don't hurt myself as it relates to a potential th season three sporting courtship. So why do I have that upside down? <laughs> I'm sure those of you have been watching these videos have been saying, turn that around. So we're now going to go to turn six and note that there is an objective card which is going to be given to the players at the beginning of turn six. The rationale of the objective card is that it's, it's somewhat of personal private pursuit of the family. And once they've started to progress in their reemergence into society, they, uh, they, they can afford and take the time to pursue some of those passionate interests so they look at each player looks at two objective cards and keeps one so for the start of the turn for Asquith before we rotate service or do anything we will go ahead and look at two objective cards wow look at that that's they're definitely too late for a group objective, but if we can get the French Garden, look what the French Garden would be worth in the context of those three objectives. It would complete this objective. It would complete this objective. That'd be 16 points. It'd be a 17-point play if the French Garden shows up there, which, Dan, why don't you repopulate your market? So the French Garden shows up in that builder's market it would uh, be worth 17 points. It's a lot. Hillside Kennels, great tile. One of my personal favorites from a sporting perspective. So this gets discarded back here. We now start our turn. Rotate service. So Asquith takes a look and very thin on service. The guests or lean as well. We got two of those four prestige rating four. We're not going to be playing them anytime soon. It's almost time to pass, but look at the synergy here. Is that cool or what? 
this would just net me 200 for having those two guests. Um, considering that, but you know what? I'm not going to win with only my original service. It's time to flip this and take a leadership position in service. Butler is the essential servant for this service activity. Going to have a hiring of two. Um, I'm going to grab one footman. And I seem to have a little bit, a few more gentlemen than I do ladies. So I'm going to take a footman and a valet. Footman, great flexibility for hosting events. And I'm going to flip this. Do note that after you host, or not host, after you perform the service action one time, you get an increased ability, which you're able to take a servant, only the short ones, not the under butler, housekeeper, or butler, from a competitor. That uh, can be critical for completing an objective toward the end of the game when servants run low. That's the end of the turn. And we're now to an objective card draw for York. York will take a look. Oh, five points right off the bat. Hi, Mr. Underbutler. That over here. Very pleased with that. Let's rotate our service. We're getting into the wheelhouse now of a passing moment. One of the things um, I strongly recommend, this is a remaining active hand. I think he's got to come out. These two, looks like those two should come out, and we do have the service for those two. So I'm leaning to using those two. But I recommend when you pass, you have a little money in your pocket. It's always great to turn a pass, which is a inactive turn into a, a, a useful purchase in the builder's market. Anyway, so I have two guests and what do I want to do? I want to follow that path. Son of a gun. Yeah, that's perfect. Let's do that. It's the reason that we bought that croquet field is so that we can follow a path. nice strong little event we're going to realize 100 300 there we're going to get one two three reputation what a fine little turn one two three reputation and we're going to get an invite let's hope that some of those bad folks have long since left us great guess there Love getting an in-game victory point. Beautiful. Wonderful turn. Break it down. Flip my croquet field so that I'm not showing a front side negative. Guests in the discard pile. And I think it's time to pick up that fenced paddock at a discount. Eh. Boy, tempting for that smoking room. That's worth a point to me. Gives me a more of a path than the fenced paddock. All right, so I'm taking my 200 back and changing my mind. I'm going to make a little bit of a play here. I'm going with 300 in to take the smoking room, which is 400. But I am going to trade off by going to London and dealing with the money lenders, hurting my reputation, getting 100 pounds in order to afford the renovation of that uh, unused sitting room and back then to a luxurious smoking room so that I can entertain a couple gentlemen. It also nets me a victory point there. Real pleased with that turn. We're moving up to turn number seven and you know what we sort of lost track. I've lost track, you probably haven't, of the critical importance of these two tiles. Now that's still going to be a 900 pound tile. And that'll be a 700 pound tile but boy <clears throat> Excuse me, this is turn seven, and those are about to depart, and no one has really banked any money. And my guests now are thin enough that I don't think I'm going to be able to act on that. That's a shame. I have to, I have to tell you that I think I played that poorly as far as keeping my eye on the ball over here for, for either York or Asquith. I'm going to rotate service, and then we're obviously going to focus on the flower room. So while that's nice, that is for a 
um, a theme that's that's past us. It will be in the end game. But right now, I got I got to pay attention on winning this. I've got two victory points. York has two victory points. Obviously, I have to play the Flower Room today. It's the only, or today this this turn. It's the only play, and I might have a little bit of a problem because as I come down and look here, I need. Oh my goodness. These are the only two guests I can play. I have to play that flower room. I have to win the courtship. I don't have the two footmen because one's not available. Okay, you're going to see some pain here. We're going to provide service. And I am going to take a footman from servants' quarters by using a special action which costs me three reputation, which almost puts me back to my starting reputation, which I can tell you is a devastating move. Uh, I was hoping to play that early in season three, and it doesn't look like that's going to happen. But I have to play it because the courtship is critical at this stage. So we have um, a canceling out here. This reputation cancels out, and this detracts by 100 from his 300. So it gets me 300 there. And then I get an all-important prestige guest invite. I mean, that's a great guest, but at my reputation, we're not going to see her till the national holiday. Break down. I've at least locked up the courtship, and I've probably got a pass at the beginning of next season. So do I want to do anything with that 300? I, I really, I can't. I don't want to get the fence paddocked. I'm going to bank that and hope that we get an interesting market to start season three. Let's come over here to York, and York is in a similar position of being ready to pass. He does have these two. So I really do want to play these two because I hate to waste this by passing, but I have no way to get two ladies maid servant service. I can use the housekeeper when there's no ladies maid available for service, but uh, the only way to get into a second ladies maid would be to ref pay reputation to reveal to the community that I, I can't field an adequate domestic staff, which is devastating for my climb out of obscurity. I don't see how I can do it. I'm going to pass. When you pass, you refresh all the service. You claim all your gentry deck. It's available next turn. And you receive 200 pounds and tenant rents because you've taken the time of not hosting activities to collect on delinquent rents. Doesn't really enable me to purchase much. I could pick up that fence paddock and I, I, I just don't see how that benefits me. I'm going to bank that and see what the market holds after our courtship. So here we have a courtship and because it was an open courtship it's a foregone conclusion that Asquith has won that courtship. First thing that must happen is that the love interests who was courting the York lady, young lady of the house returns to Alderley Hall. Asquith wins one of these and this is an interesting one. They get three victory points but they could trade it to refresh all their service. That can be very big before a national holiday right there. Uh, so that's interesting. That's an interesting. It's not a lot of victory points, but it's a, a very important action. I'm gonna I'm gonna take the gentleman all as well to court the young lady. Goes into my active hand, and that is the end of season two. Thanks for watching.